Hey guys, it's me, Halloween Dan. Doing another quick video today because it's Wednesday. Wednesday is my video day, generally. I've made a few in the last week or so because there's been a lot of things to talk about, but generally, Wednesday's the day. But in terms of props and things, right at this very second, there isn't a huge amount to talk about. So I'm going back to something I really enjoy doing, and it's a big part of what makes my channel my channel. If you're new here, you might not necessarily know this, but what I like to do from time to time is I like to react and review people's horns. People either will say, check out this horn, or sometimes it's their horn, and they'll say, can you review or react to my horn? I've been doing it now for several years. I, it's something I really love doing because it was part of what got me into making this sort of content anyway, was I loved after the Halloween season, watching the amazing things other people had done during that Halloween season. So it's fun, it's something I like to do. I like to get inspired and see what other people have come up with in their haunts and stuff. I never really review the big scale haunts, it's always the home haunters haunts that I tend to react to and view because I think they're more real and genuine in some way. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but you, each to their own. So that's exactly what I'm doing today. So join me. So very quickly, this horn was suggested to me by the owner of this horn. The man in question is called Glenn. He's a friend of mine through YouTube and he runs Roosevelt Hill Cemetery, which is a really cool horn and I've seen snippets of it and bits of it before. And he sent me this video a while back and said, if you get the chance, would you check out my horn? It'd be really cool. And so that's exactly what I'm doing, Glenn. I have to say I've watched about, I wanna say about 30 seconds of this video before I stopped it purely because I knew I wanted to do a reaction to it, almost like a blind reaction. But from the little bit I've seen, this is exactly the sort of horn I'm into because it's a cemetery horn and I love cemetery horns. So let's check this out. So just to reiterate, this is Roosevelt Hill Cemetery, which I believe is in New Jersey. Tell me if I'm wrong, Glenn. And the video is called First Look Roosevelt Hill Cemetery 2022 and Spider House. So let's check this out. So, this is the bit of the video I've seen. And holy cow, guys. This is a beautiful cemetery horn. I love that, that sort of vulture. Is that a tombstone or is it a vulture? So he's got his sign out, Roosevelt Hills. I love that signage. Oh, look at the wolf. That's cool. Creepy. Creepy. I love, this is, you see, love a very simple graveyard guy with a lantern. Look at this creepy woman with a head. Okay, she looks quite realistic. Oh dear. It's never good when you're bleeding from your eye. Love the lanterns. I wonder if they're permanent. Either way, they look great for Halloween. Love the sign. You can just about see it there. Roosevelt Hill Cemetery. You can hear the thunder rumbling. I'm guessing that's the sound of a smoke machine. Sounds like a pretty industrial smoke machine. Oh yeah, look, here comes the smoke. Amazing. Love the way they've intertwined that with twigs and sticks as well, just to give it a really overgrown look. Wow. Lighting is on point. This is, I always say with cemetery haunts, the lighting has to be just right. I love the addition of the candles. Wow. Some of these tombstones are insane as well. Abigail. Why do you look so frightened? Now she's creepy. I've forgotten what she's called, but she's a creepy prop. Loving I Father love Bubba Kessner. Especially at midnight. 
when it's colder, like it always when fill the other See, are that's lost. nice. So they've actually, they I could be wrong. Really I think they'd personalize some of their tombstones for actually family members. Oh, wow. Okay. Missed the coffin with the creepy woman hanging out of it and the smoke. That's amazing. These tombstones are so cool. Look at that obelisk as well. Love the lightning effect. Wow. The fog, the fog's looking good. You've got it lying pretty close to the ground as well. That's something I always fail at. My fog never likes to lie to the ground. Love the beloved um, tombstone. With the, it's clearly homemade. It looks really good. Creepy woman in the swings. Oh. Where um, are you going? What Whatever is that? You do, I'll be right there with you. I think I've seen this. Isn't this an old techie prop? You can never, ever escape. That's actually a pretty terrifying prop, isn't it, when you think about it? That's pretty spooky. Here lies Anita Coffin. <laughs> you will never escape. I will so cool. Love the way it's lit. Love the. This is what I love about cemetery horns. It's that you don't need things jumping out at you. You don't need those things attacking your face. Sometimes they're a cool addition, but actually, some of the coolest bits about cemeteries are just the tombstones, a few creepy characters mixed in, and just that. Ambiance, that's the word. It's ambiance. It's the it's the eerie atmosphere that is created. I love it. And if I didn't live so close to a main road with big street lights hanging over the front of my house, I'd work a little harder at creating this atmosphere. And some cool little props. I love all the statues. They all look as if they've been, you know, adapted somehow. Love all the pumpkins as well by the house. That smoke machine's intense. Ooh, creepy bride. What was, was that the bride? Is that the bride from Home Depot from a couple of years ago? All these creepy characters in the graveyard. Even the statics, even the ones that aren't doing or saying anything. That's creepy, right? Why are they there? Who are they? So, and it's that thing of, is one of them gonna move? Is one of them gonna leap out? What are they gonna do? Oh, we've got another graveyard guy. This was the one I actually wanted for myself. I love all the pumpkins lit around the house. That is so good. I love that. Halloween town, cool. So atmospheric. So cool. Okay, so... So as me and the missus take a leisurely walk just down four houses, we will see Halloween everywhere. Wow, and so this uh, now, he's actually having a look at the houses down Halloween his neighborhood. So we've got, so we've got some houses with some cool inflatables. Uh, this one this is house. on the spider house. Cool. Look at all the cobweb. Yeah. The cobwebs and the leaves. <laughs> and it the is really good. Cloth from the trees, it's just little things mm -hmm. like that. And he's got the his his cobweb game is. <laughs> look, he's got black light string up to the That's, tree. That's it's Man, an intense I cobweb love this game. Dude. Love that. His name is Michael. I finally finally introduced myself to him. Oh, look at that. Phantom. He's got the Phantom. I love Home the Phantom. Depot, 15 footer. So tall, cool. Impressive. Really big, impressive. Big, 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 big. Love the way they've got the house lit. Love the cobwebs. Love the... Uh, love spiders. <laughs> love the strobe effect. Yeah, really good. It's really good. I'm impressed. He's put a lot of time, a lot of effort into this. He's got his Home Depot witch. Oh, he's got the witch as well. Oh, look, yeah, there's the 12 foot witch. She looks good. Mm -hmm. 
looked super cool. Love all that cobweb. That cobweb is amazing. Manville, New Jersey. Manville, New Jersey. And just literally a house away, he has donned the name the Spider House. Awesome. <laughs> I'm loving it. I dig it. And that's it. Very cool. So there we have it, guys and girls. It's a very, very cool haunt. That was Roosevelt Hill Cemetery, which is in Manville, New Jersey, and then the Spider House, which was his neighbor's house. I didn't realize that. But what a cool haunt. I mean, I don't think it speaks for itself. I don't really need to go over the top about it. It's such a cool cemetery haunt. You can tell that most of those tombstones were homemade. They had clearly taken a lot of time carving each individual one, all different sizes and shapes and textures. There were some with statues. There were some that were just tombstones with some with quirky names, fun names. Some of them that seem to have, tell me if I'm wrong, Glenn, if you see this, sort of more personal names to for family members that maybe are no longer with us. I love that, personal touches that make your horn what it is, that make it different from everybody else's. I loved all the use of creepy static props that I think maybe some of them were static some of the time and not static the rest of the time. So maybe when kids come on trick or treat in, they're thinking something static and then maybe it moves. All of that is really well done. I love the sound, I love the lights. It is the perfect cemetery haunt. I'm a sucker for cemetery haunts. I love them. I think they're great. And if I had more space to play with, that would be what I would expand in my haunt. I would go more and more and more cemetery, more and more and more tombstone. But I don't have the space for it. So my, my cemetery is a very tiny little family plot, I suppose you'd say. Um, but either way, I love it. I loved it. It's absolutely brilliant. So well done, Glenn, at Roosevelt Hill Cemetery. If you do not know Glenn and Roosevelt Hill Cemetery, go and check him out. That's the name of the channel. Go and check him out on YouTube right now. Go and subscribe, go and like that video because he does other great videos all about Halloween, making props and all kinds of different things. So go and check him out. Go and check that out. It was amazing. Well done. And now I feel inspired. It's getting close guys to the time when I need to start doing some building of my own. The time is nearly here. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this quick one today, and I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky. Bye.